What's the most embarrassing way to die? Approximately 2 to 4 people every year are crushed to death from trying to tip a vending machine to get the snacks out. I'm going with that one. 99% of these people are vending machine insurance appraisers. So I take this test very seriously. Definitely the way Manfred Lubitz went out. The body of retired German electrician Manfred Lubitz was found in his apartment in Malaga wearing a handmade gadget he called the Orgasmatron. It featured a vibrating mat, massage pads, and electrodes attached to his manhood. Police believe he died as a result of a power surge. Quite the electric way to go out. Hey. Maybe not the most scandalous one. But drowning when you try to do a drunk lakeside piss. During the summer months. A very large percentage of drowned guys are found with their flies undone. Just piss behind a tree. Guys. I remember my friend sharing an article warning young men about something called the smiley face killers where reclaimed successful young men around the US were being murdered by a secret serial killer gang by being drugged and drowned in rivers and lakes. I read the article and it was pretty clear the dudes were trying to piss drunk and ended up falling in and drowning. Pretty common urban legend I think. The guy who died when he let a horse fck him and for his colon destroyed. 07ish in. Washington State. MR. Hans. Over there in a numclaw. Fun fact. If it was MR. Hans. Up until then bestiality wasn't illegal in Washington State. Afterwards the legislature had to do something. Because the kind of people who like getting fk by horses are gonna worry about the RCW. The dude who wanted to prove Earth is flat. Built a rocket. Launches. Killed himself because his calculations, and probably the whole machinery, were wrong. Regardless of how bad the design was. Or how stupid his reasons. Dude still died in a homemade rocket ship. Which is cooler than anything most of us will ever do. A number of years ago. A HS kid working for a local Dunkin Donuts fell into an open manhole in the dark while taking the trash out back. He fell into a cesspool. Passed out from the fumes. And was dead before they were able to figure out where he went and get him out. Working the late shift at a minimum wage job. And dying because the landlord didn't keep the property safe during maintenance or whatever the FCK was going on. Talk about a shitty way to die. Accidentally shooting yourself in the head after trying to be cool with a gun. I see so many careless people with weapons. There was a Darwin award for a guy who tried to impress a girl by playing Russian roulette. With a magazine fed gun. Choking to death on a dick. It really happened. Google it. Such a DCK move. That really sucks. Erotic asphyxiation. R.I.P. David Carradine. On the toilet or in front of an audience. On the toilet is fairly common. Some heart attacks are not as severe. So the victims think they're just having a bad ibs moment or something and pooping it out will help them feel better. Then they sit down to do their business and keel over dead. It happened to the king. It could happen to you. Asterisk. Well. Elvis will be forever remembered for dying on the toilet. The thing about dying on a toilet is that you tend to roll forward and end up with your ass in the air. Everyone imagines Elvis perched on the throne while in reality he probably fell off it and ended bare ass up with a turd hanging out. Stabbed in the ass by a person hiding in a medieval toilet seems. Pretty bad. When I go camping I I of telling people to watch out for compost snakes in the outdoor toilet. I heard a story of a man who drove off the freeway and flipped his car and was partially ejected out of the moonroof and was crushed to death as the car rolled on top of him. Thing is the emergency responders found he had a portable DVD player still playing porn and his pants were down around his ankles. The famous inventor Thomas Midgley was bedridden so he tried to invent a bed with pulleys and levers to make it an adjustable bed. Instead he got caught in one of the ropes and strangled to death. Actually. A lot of people likely died from Midgley's work. He invented many CFCs and leaded gasoline. I saw a video where a guy who fell down a freaking waterfall died because he slipped on an orange peel. Then again he was old but man that must have been embarrassing as heck. Edit. He was 82 years old.
that sounds like he fell over the waterfall because he slipped on an orange peel. Shitting yourself to death. In Kenny's defense. He had just heard the loudest brown note in recorded history. It would have been quite embarrassing for all of us. From the perspective of other more advanced species in the future. If that Russian guy wouldn't have been skeptical of those signals. Breaking your neck trying to suck your own dick. His mom found him. Balls resting on his lips. Double quote. At an Imagine Dragons concert. Because then you'd be caught dead at one. I saw on 1000 ways to die. A girl got off by eating puke. So she made a guy puke into her mouth. Choked. And died. Third degree burns from lighting a fart. People dying from exertion from jacking of 20 plus times in a row. I once did twice in one day and felt so bad. Imagine doing 20. Holy. So. You rush in a public toilet to take a dookie. The pressure has built up so you just quickly sit down without looking in the bowl first and you relax the chocolate starfish. The first big log hits the water with such speed that the water splashes and reaches up to your poop chute. You pay it no attention due to the relief of emptying your bowels but it turns out that the last guy forgot to flush and the remnants of his last snack are still floating in the bowl. The liquid containing partially digested peanuts triggered your severe allergy when it hit your bum hole. You rapidly start to swell up but you cannot run for help due to the steady stream of pudding leaving your body. There is nothing left to do but to accept your fate and finish your business like a man. Someone drowned in not only his own shit. But a whole town of people's shit. TLDR. Guy drowned in sewage water. Is this the guy who was taking garbage out at his job and fell through the manhole because the landlord didn't take care of the property? There was a story I read somewhere of an office man showing a batch of new hires their building facilities. So they were up in a tall building. It was a fairly new building with glass windows. And this guy wanted to demonstrate how strong the glass windows were. Because he wanted to look like a cool office mate or some shit. To do this. He made a running approach towards the windows and slammed his body into the glass. It wasn't as strong as he thought. And as the glass shattered and fell apart. His body went through and fell right out of the F King building and into his death. I can't even begin to imagine how to react if I were to bear witness to that. Being trapped in a porto potty that gets tipped over and lands door side down. Then suffocating from the nasty toilet water fumes. Stephen King wrote a story about this. Picking up margarita mix and getting run over by a line of shopping carts. Or getting crushed by a falling AC unit. There was this one guy that didn't know what gun to use in Russian roulette. So he used a Glock. More people die each year from causing vending machines to fall on top of them than die from shark attacks. So there is that lol. To be fair that's a skewed statistic. People encounter vending machines much more frequently than we do sharks. The guy who invented the Segway died after falling off a cliff on his Segway. He wasn't the inventor. He was just a major investor from Britain that took over the company. The inventor was Dean Kamen who is still alive. He has also invented the Abbott. The micro shot coke machine. And the water purifier that can apparently run off cow dung. Masturbating on a public toilet. Sometimes men will take Viagra for erectile dysfunction. What people don't know is Viagra when it first came out used to be used for treatment for high blood pressure and heart disease. Sometimes men with already low blood pressure, that didn't know, take Viagra and they pass out and die from plummeting their blood pressure. Remember that woman who died from drinking too much water to win concert tickets or something on a radio show? That. That is the most embarrassing. Doing something unfathomably stupid for extremely low stakes and in a very public manner. Hold your wee for a wee. I remember that. Falling off a cliff while trying to take a selfie. Edit. Lol someone downvoted. Honestly. What's a more embarrassing death than this? Being got by a buffalo while trying to take a picture because you are a dumbass you doesn't follow rules. I want to stab someone in the neck with a dry lasagna noodle, 
these are surprisingly sharp if they splinter diagonally. If that person has a young child. Someone is going to have to sit them down and say Timmy. Your father was stabbed to death by a maniac with a dry noodle. Double quote. My mom worked at a retirement village briefly. One day they found a resident that had had a heart attack and fell face first into her cat's litter box. She was still face down in it when they found her. Death by dildo, regardless of gender. A rapist could kill anyone with a huge dildo. Internal bleeding my dude. Death by overdosing on marijuana. I know they say no one has ever done it but I feel like there is going to be someone somewhere that somehow does it so now every time a stoner tells you no one has died from weed everyone is going to have to say. Well there was Richard Jones and everyone will say oh that's right. That would be the most embarrassing way to die. It is physically possible to get too much THC. It leads to hours long convulsions. Imagine being locked in your shaking body not being able to respond to anything. You are completely aware of everything go on but can't communicate. The father of a person I know died from internal injuries and sepsis from sounding himself with an unsanitized screwdriver. His son found him at home bleeding heavily from his dick. Took him to hospital where he later died. Guy had 6 kids. I think he was estranged from most and had been a recluse for many years due to illness and disability. My good friend was the one designated to go to the guy's house to get rid of the kind of stuff you wouldn't want your loved ones to know about. My neighbor was a World War II veteran and also served in Vietnam. A couple years ago he was eating dinner and choked to death on a peach. I think that is a damn shame going out like that after being a badass for the majority of his life. A couple years ago my next door neighbor was in his backyard throwing rocks at a squirrel and then like 100 squirrels attacked him all at once and they took like 1 million bites out of him and he died. Auto erotic asphyxiation till death and then your soul jumps out and sticks your thumb up your own butt. Drinking hand sanitizer. Oh wait. Do you remember the classic cartoon character slips on a banana peel and falls there is a guy who died out of that. There's another story I know from a man that had a really long. I don't remember the name of the facial hair. Well. He had a really long facial hair. That had touched the floor. So once. This man's house caught a fire. The fire spread really fast. And while he was running. He fell because of his human sized facial hair and burned alive. Death by vending machine. Between 2 to 4 people each year die from vending machines. This is usually due to them shaking the vending machine too hard to get their snack that has gotten stuck. Causing it to tip over and crush them to death. Masks are stupid. Covered is a hoax. It's my right to not wear a mask and do what I want. Double quote. Dies of covered weeks later. Freaking yourself with a shotgun not realizing it's loaded and accidentally pulling the trigger in your zeal to have a good time. Would look more like a suicide but you'd be lying there on your bed naked with a shotgun up your ass so. Anyways that's my contribution. I actually asked one of my friends at work this once. As I was thinking auto erotic asphyxiation. But he came up with a way I, I, I better one. Just so you know. It's kinda gross and f ked up. But pretty much having sx with a large breed of dog and having a heart attack or brain aneurysm in the middle. Having the dog finish and not you. Then drag your dead body down the street by the asshole. Having your internal organs crushed because the horse f king you got over aroused and thrust it too hard. Instantly killing you. You'll be limping over. Dead. And the horse will keep f king you. Catching coronavirus from eating a stranger's ass at a pool party during a global pandemic. Now you make me nervous bro lol. Getting hit by a train cause you were too busy playing dumb ways to die on their phone to realize the gate was down. And the lights were flashing. I saw on a show once a man was fishing on a beach. And instead of going home to his wife and children. He decided he would take a nap under his truck. His wife was like a Karen or something. I believe, anyways. While he is under his truck on the beach. The tide rises. And his wheels sink down lower into the sand. By the time he wakes up and realized he was wet. He looks around and sees the fact that he was trapped. 
and wet. As the pickup truck sinks lower it starts to crush his chest. Slowly becoming more and more intense as he is now fully covered in salt water. His final moments were a mixture of drowning and being crushed by a whole truck. Police found his truck three days later. And his body was still trapped underneath. His final screams only being heard by the animals late that night as seawater poured into his crushed lungs. Why didn't he just sleep in the truck? That man had options and he picked the wrong one. Finding out you're allergic to the lube you used to put that furry butt plug in and now your ass has swollen so much it's not coming out and you go into anaphylactic shock with a pink fox tail stuck in your poo shoot. Some dude died because he thought that if you hold a grenade no matter what it won't explode. I think it could be fake though because he took a picture of him holding it with the handle and pin out.